They say that champions are made in the off season. Well, this is true. Okay, championships are one of the event, but they're earned in the gym and the cage and the hours and the hours spent grinding in the off season. Okay, it takes more than just showing up and going through the motions. You have to work hard and grind and try to get a little bit better every single day. So today we're gonna give you 10 off season hitting drills that you can do this winter to help you prepare for next season. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northern Baseball Training. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And once this video is over, go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. It's not enough just to show up to the gym and the cage and go through the motions. You have the right idea, but you have to work and grind and push yourself to get a little bit better every single day if you want to be an elite player. Every single day you have to show up and train with a purpose and a plan and an idea of what you want to do to get better. It's easy to get caught up with your buddies and just mess around in the cage and the gym, but if you want to get to that next level, you really have to focus with each workout. If you look at any successful athlete and their approach to the off season, they put a lot of work and detail in what they want to accomplish. Okay, they go on with a plan, a purpose, and a goal of what they want to achieve for next season. You never see them going in unprepared. With all that being said, let's get into the drills. So the first thing we're gonna do is just basic T work. Okay, and by basic T work, I don't mean just come in here and swing out of your shoes and hit as hard as you can. Come in here with a plan and a purpose. Okay, that's why we like the Freddie Freeman drill. Okay, first thing he does is he puts the ball on the outer half and he takes eight to 10 swings, driving the ball to right center. Okay, after that, takes another eight to 10 swings in the middle of the plate, and he tries to drive this ball to the right side. Okay, and after that, he moves it to the inner half, and for this one, he still tries to keep his hands inside the ball and drive it to the back of the cage or to the right side. Okay, this is a really good drill. We did a video on it. I'll link that above, so you should go check it out. Next thing we're gonna work on is our launch position. Okay, launch position is very important, so we'll quickly go over what that is. So your batting stance is irrelevant here. It doesn't matter how you wanna start. The important thing is that once you load back and you get that foot down, now we're in the launch position. Okay, so the things that you wanna look for here is that your front foot is open, maybe at a 45 degree angle. Your head is in the middle of your body. You're nice and balanced. Okay, your back elbow is up. Your shoulder, your elbow, and your hands are relatively on the same plane. The knob of the bat is facing the catcher, and you have this angle, okay? If you look at any MLB player, when they're in the launch position, they almost all look identical. Okay, so for this drill, all we're gonna do is we're gonna load and pause at launch position, and then load. So the next thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna work on the high tee. Okay, this helps players stay on top of the ball and helps for players who like to dip that back shoulder. Now, when you hear players or coaches say, get on top of the baseball, they don't mean hit the top of the baseball because that's gonna produce a ground ball, okay? What that means is you wanna make sure that your hands are always above the baseball, okay? You never wanna dip and drop your hands below the baseball, okay? It's always on top, so that's what that means when you say, stay on top of the baseball. So for this drill, we're just gonna swing and try to keep our hands on top of the baseball and not dip. Okay, for this one, if you hit a ball on the ground, that's okay. We just wanna avoid hitting the top of the cage. Next thing we're gonna work on is staying grounded. Okay, when guys swing, sometimes they like to push up off the ground with this back knee rather than driving this back knee forward. Okay, so all we're gonna do for this drill is we're gonna swing and we're gonna drop our knee down, making sure that our head is above our hip, which is above our knee. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay. Once we get down to our knee, we wanna make sure that our head and hip and our knee are all in a line. So for the next two drills, we're gonna work on our top hand and our bottom hand independently. So for the first drill, we'll work on our bottom hand. So we're gonna grab our bat and choke up get into our batting stance, put our right hand on our chest. And for this, we really wanna focus on keeping our hands in tight to our body, contact and extending through. Okay, we wanna avoid getting out and extended from our body and coming around. It's short and direct and extend through. Okay, so it looks like this. So now we're gonna work on the top hand. Okay, there's a few things that we wanna look for here, okay? 
when we go to contact, we want to make sure that this back elbow stays nice and connected to the body. Okay, once we get disconnected here, it's going to create that long swing. Okay, and as we stay connected, we want to make sure that this back elbow never gets ahead of this hand. Okay, once it starts to get ahead of this hand, you start leading with the elbow, you lose the barrel. Okay, and then you have that bat tray. Okay, so launch position, knobs facing the catcher. Turn towards the ball, stay connected, contact, extend through. Okay, so it looks like this. Next thing we're gonna work on is hip separation and swing sequence. Okay, so we're gonna grab a piece of PVC pipe, get it in our batting stance, and we're gonna load. And once we get to launch position, once that heel makes a connection with the ground, that's gonna activate our whole swing. Okay, and the first movement before our upper half and our hands is our back hip and our back pocket starts to turn towards the pitcher. This back knee starts to drive forward, pulling this heel off the ground. Okay, that's the first movement. Then it's our core and our shoulder tilt and our upper half. Okay, so it looks like this. We're gonna load, pause at launch position, activate the hips, keeping this upper half stationary. Okay, and then come back and then turn, keeping a slight tilt on the, up, on the shoulder. So for this drill, we're gonna work on our load. Okay, when we're younger, we're taught that the load is a weight transfer back before we drive forward. But what it really is, is we sink back and down and coil into this back hip. Okay, that's gonna help us generate power. Okay, it's not so much straight back, it's back and we sink into this back hip, okay? So for this drill, we're gonna stand facing the pitcher, okay? And we're just gonna work on coiling and feeling this coil in this back hip and we should feel it in our glute. Okay, so it looks like this. So the next thing we're gonna work on is the split grip drill. Okay, you might've seen this online before, but this drill really helps with feeling the control of your barrel and turning your barrel and getting it on the proper swing plane. Okay, so what we do is we grab the bat on the regular with our bottom hand and around the top of the grip tape with our top hand. Okay, we're gonna get our launch position. Okay, we're just gonna load and swing. Make sure we get on plane early and work on extending through. Okay, so after we make contact, try to hold our posture as we're extended forward. Okay, so it looks like this. Last thing we're gonna talk about is that you need to be seeing some live pitching or the pitching machine with a little bit of heat on it. Okay, timing is so important when it comes to your swing. You can spend all winter dialing in your swing with T-work and front toss, but it's gonna take you some time to get dialed in in the season if you haven't seen any live pitching or anything with a little bit of heat on it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button below for new videos every week. If you wanna see daily content from us, make sure to go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And if you guys have any questions about this video or any of our other videos, leave a comment below or go send us a message on Instagram. If you wanna see our last video on outfield drills, click the link above and I'll see you guys next week.